Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. When some black women don't acknowledge good black men. Yeah, yeah, you know something. I'm, I just got, and I spoke on it in bits and pieces on different videos, right? And different aspects of what I'm about to talk about. But, and this is something I've seen a lot, uh, particularly on YouTube, right? You get um, some, and I'm going to say some. I'm going to say some. Y'all going to understand why I say some later on. I will qualify this this statement. When some black women, I, I know there's some black women, they will always say, you know, they. I mean, despite all them complaining about men bashing them, that's all they doing is bashing brothers. And, you know, some of the complaints are, well, they're cowards and they haven't built anything. Oh, that's a favorite one. They haven't built anything, right? And, you know, I, I think about that, right? I was thinking about that. Because sometimes I look at it one way. You know, why these sisters going in on the brothers? Then I look at it another way, right? Because when you talk about building, I mean, whatever you're talking about building, some black man has done it. Well, he is doing it. Businesses, you got brothers out here flipping houses. Making money, you got brothers in their in their early twenties buying houses, you know, flipping houses, um, being in business, got things going. You got brothers out here getting their educations. They building professional practices, whether it's accounting firms, law firms, whatever. You know, I mean, damn! All you had to do is pick up. <laughs> you get stories on social media. So apparently brothers are building something. Is it every single brother? <laughs> no. But is every single white man building something? Is every single Asian man building something? Is every single Hispanic man building something? No. And then if somebody say collectively, well, pff, a lot of these brothers are networked. There's a lot of connections. You should you know, like uh, in my industry, the book industry, there's a lot of people like working together. You ain't going to see it, but they building something. You know, people building institutes. You got brothers building everything. So the issue becomes, how come these sisters can't see it? Well, there's several reasons, right? One of the things is anybody in any culture can recognize somebody doing something positive. Anybody, you, you go anywhere in the world, and if a brother say, you know what, I got my education, I'm building this school here, or I'm building this business, anybody with common sense can say, oh, they're building something. Anybody, right? But then it's like, you know, you got some sisters, some sisters who come back and can't see that. But you know what, um, that speaks more to their issues. I'm going to give y'all some game on this, right? I'm going to give y'all some good game on it, good perspective. Think about this, right? Many women, many black women, complain about a shortage of good black men. Or like some black man isn't on their level, right? Like, i give you a story. Y'all like, damn, how many stories Rom have? I'm going to be honest with y'all. Let me, let me go on a tangent real quick. I'm one of those people. Shit happened to me. It's, it's like a camera following me around or something. Like I got some theme music, like from like Raiders of the Lost Ark. For those who remember those movies, some shit always happened to me. I'm, I'm like that type of person. You know, I said I'm introverted. That's because I'm trying to keep shit from happening to me, right? But anyway, right? There was a sister, right? I was at this uh, poetry reading, right? And I'm sitting there trying to chill. Now, this sister there is just talking big shit, right? And she was talking about her, you know, what she doing. She's like, I got my stuff together. I got my job at this place, right? And I just looked at her. And I just said, okay, that's cool, All right? And this was back when, um, let's just say I was living a different life. And I was playing, you know. I was more apt to play like Negro geography. And that's where, you know, you talk about who you know and what you do for a living. So I kind of dropped on what I was about. She got quiet. 
you know she got quiet and she realized what she what she was about didn't hold a candle to what I was about now they ain't they ain't how I live now like now I don't care what you do I, I don't I ain't bougie like that anymore right I could care less what you do as long as it's, as long as they don't interfere with my life right but I peeped when women you know can't acknowledge a good man doing something with black women when some black women can't acknowledge a good a black man doing something with his life actually doing something got business and everything because you'll find even in some of those cases when the dude says well you know what i got a million dollar portfolio then they'd be like well how come it's not two million <laughs> you know or you can tell you've got three degrees well how come you don't have four but see when you have some women like that and included in that group is uh, with, you know, some toxic women. That's really their issue. That's yours. That's their issue. Because they'll try to put you down for two reasons. One, to make themselves feel better about whatever they got going on in lives or not going on. Because some are in competition with you and not in cooperation. And two... It points the finger back at them as to why they don't have a good man. See, it's easy for many sisters, when they're single, to say, oh, well, I'm single because there are no good men. They never look in the mirror. It's like, well, maybe they don't have a good man because they got a bad attitude. Or maybe they're just unattractive. That's either physically or emotionally. Because I always said, if a woman got a good personality, she got a positive attitude, she always going to look good to somebody. So usually, if there's one present, if you look at a person, any woman out here, and she comes across as physically unattractive to you, in this day and age where you can get your hair fixed, uh, you can make up, clothing, style, all that stuff, that means there's something about her personality. Because fellas, think about something. Have you always met that woman who probably... On first glance, it's probably average looking, but all the guys sweating because she's just a positive person to be around. So if somebody is just repelling men, it's really more in their like personality makeup, right? But getting back to all this, you know, sometimes when a woman is presented with the very man she says she wants, she's going to have to turn around and look at herself. And ask if she's ready or can she handle it. Now I remember in this national magazine years ago, right? Read an article by a black woman, right? She was saying she wanted all this in a man. She gave, she had a list. She finally met that man, right? She found out she was the issue. Because he presented everything to her. And that happens with a lot of women. That's why it seemed like a man could have, a woman can have 10 things on her checklist, right? That man check off nine. But the woman ready to break up with him or not deal with him over number ten. It'd be like a little minor thing. Something he could adjust if, you know, if he's motivated enough. But the woman's like, nah, I can't mess with. That's really her. Fellas, I want y'all to understand that it's not you, it's her. It really is. That's why I'm even like doing this video. A lot of times, you see, there's been a trick play. You know, too many fellas go around here trying to think. Oh, well, I need to work on this. I need to upgrade this. We're so bad. Dude, if you if you up here doing positive, I'll say this in another video, and this is one of those things, I'm, I'm going to hit this as much as possible. Well, if you're doing some positive shit, you growing, you trying to expand your empire, you know, you trying to do something, you trying to be in a position to provide for a family and shit, you staying out of trouble, you contributing to society, shit. You there, man. It ain't you. But see, a lot of times, a woman have an issue where, you know, she'll try to say, well, there's no good men around. That's why sometimes you can even present, you can even set this woman up with a decent guy and she'll find something. That's because by her being in his presence, being the man she says she wants, she's forced to look in the mirror. Now, how do I know this? How do I know this? Like I said... That's why I qualified this. I said, some black women, you know, 
when some black women don't acknowledge positive black men or you know good black men right I've met so many sisters who ironically were average looking ironically average looking physically but they were cool as shit cool person out here men lined the fuck up like when I say lined up lined up hell and for the sisters who want to always harp about colorism more than a few of these sisters were chocolate but what they have they had a positive attitude and they could see the good in men I knew one sister in particular you know if I call her name a lot of there's gonna be somebody who follow me who know this person's name and I'll, I'll just say uh I'll just say this sister had a famous ancestor, right? You know. But, chocolate sister, I've never seen a woman have so many positive guys trying to get at her. Even if they could just be a friend. They, that was like one of the few sisters I've met in my life. Dudes were happy to be in her friend zone. Listen to what I'm saying. They were happy. It was like, damn, like, damn I'm in so-and-so's friend zone. Shit, I'm good. Like, if something happened to this sister... <laughs> Please. That'd be one of those things. You you got about a maybe about a thousand brothers lacing up the Tims and shit. She was just that cool. But it was her attitude towards men and she saw the good. So if you look at the guys around her, shoot man, you could yeah, you, shit, you could take over like you can take over significant parts of the world with these guys. I mean, you're talking about positive brothers. Nothing but positive brothers. All I'm doing is something with their lives. But that's what she saw. And I got new another sister, right? I'm still friends with this sister to this day. You hear what I'm saying? I'm still friends with her to this day. You know, she's somebody I put up a new pic on Facebook or something. I always know. I always know. Only time she don't like the pic right away is if she didn't see it right away. But she, I always see her name like liking the pic. Right, she's one of these I used to joke with. We used to joke, right? If she was with a guy, like she could just be chill, just me be meeting engineers, professionals, shoot, upper middle class brothers. And even though she she was pretty, but she wasn't that type who like to fix up, like that really really down to earth. And she'd be meeting men any place, but she saw the positive. That was her secret. And I mean, outstanding brother. She just saw the positive. But she acknowledged those brothers. She knew they existed. And she was comfortable in herself. And she was accomplished in her own right. But she ain't never, she ain't never put it in a man's face. I know a couple sisters like that. They ain't put it in a man's face. You know? They ain't try to compete with them. They were just chill. And the brothers respected their shit too. You know? So, you know... Fellas, black men, and you know, I know I got plenty of the races who, uh, races of men who listen to my stuff, but this has been an issue I've seen, um, in social media for a while. Fellas, when you see these women like that, it's best just to ignore them. Don't engage them, don't argue with them. Because if they, if they as black women can't see any positive that black men are doing, it's nothing you can do with that woman. So it's a waste of time. Spend some time on the sisters who feel me. And I've always, I've been saying, I've been stressing, they out there. Spend some time with them. You know, if your ass got to travel to another country to find that sister, go for it. So, you know, when they don't acknowledge, when some don't acknowledge, just already know she whack. And move on. Seriously, don't, don't, even, uh, shoot, even in my comments sometimes, y'all yeah, be surprised at the list of women that I got blocked or I, I hide their comments. Because once I start seeing something, I'm like, I don't have time for this shit. You know? Instead of engaging some of these negative black women who can't, who can't see that a brother's doing something, only engage the ones who are. You know? Only engage the ones who are. You know, show them that love. Even if you ain't have a romantic interest in them or a sexual interest. You know what? If they got something going on, you got some business or something, say, hey, sis, I got you. Let me support you right here. Support them. All right? Support those who support you. All right? Bottom line. The negative ones, the ones who don't want to acknowledge you, well, you know what? You can't do nothing. Like I said, you can't do nothing with them, so keep on moving. 
Anyway, that's it for today. Talk to y'all later. Peace.